never doing this again. Oh my god. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Fetch Rewards. Check the link down below, use the code NERDYCRAFTER, and get 3,000 points when you scan your first receipt. Hey Greens! Today we're going to be trying something called a CMY cube. Some of you might be asking, Why am I here? <laughs> what? <laughs> why it's am not... I here? <laughs> well, it's not a cash or trash, so why am I here? Why is any of us here? What is a CMY cube? <laughs> So a few weeks ago, I was browsing on both Facebook and Instagram and a thing that had some really pretty colors was heavily advertised to me as a CMY cube. Upon further inspection, I found out that it looked basically like a cube that you can look at different angles and it'll give you different colors and it looks so pretty, absolutely deliciously colorful. I need to see what this cube looked like. Lucky for you, I actually bought one. So I don't want to look at it just yet because we're going to attempt making it without looking at it. We're going to be using both resin, epoxy resin, and UV resin in order to attempt making the ones that you've been seeing on the screen. Sika has some theories. That's why you're here? Yes, that is why I'm here. That's why you're here. Uh -huh. I didn't think of that. That's why I'm here. Sometimes it's good to have a different mind. Yeah, mine's pretty weird. It is very weird. So, you know, it helps see like in another kind of dimension world for me. Even though this is not a cash or trash, this is going to be her first attempt actually making something with resin. Yeah. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. So we're gonna finally craft a craft together. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you pumped? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I and I, my sister Sika, will wave sharp pointy things at you. And while you're here, click on all notifications, which will automatically make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. But do stay tuned because at the end of this video, we're going to open the actual official CMY cube and see the difference between the ones that we're going to be making homemade. So the way I wanted to think about how to make this is by using something called acetate. I don't know if they're called acetates in English, but we call them des acetates in French. Yeah, it looks like it says cello. It does say so, but is, is it, it actually cello? Cello yeah, you or know, cello? cello? Is it cello I or think cello? That's an instrument. Cello is that an instrument? It is an instrument. Okay. But is it cello? I don't know. You guys are not in Dallas. I don't know what's happening. Cello. What cello? I want to say cello. I'd like to say cello too. I'd like to say cello too. So the idea is that these are transparent sheets that maybe we could put on each side of the cube, and then it'll give us that different colorful effect. They're colored transparent sheets, by the way. Yeah, they're colored. You didn't, you didn't mention that. Oh, I, I didn't. No, you just said transparent. Sheets. So you see here we have all these colors. So we're yeah. gonna see the best color combination whether we should be using pink pink or red So we'll see. However, Sika has another theory I was actually thinking of using the same thing my sister's using but the, the transparent one trying to make like a Division? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm like it's like a division down my square and then make different colored squares in my square. <laughs> yeah, because we are using these molds over here. So everything we are using is from Sophie and Toffee, not sponsored at this time, not affiliated. But if you are interested, I will link, leave the links down below, as I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and open these. I am really worried if they're going to be flimsy and just not holding their... Because then Sika's going to have a hard time. Yeah, I'm going to have a really hard time if it doesn't hold. So let's let's hope for the best. Okay, that's oh, no. very flimsy. Oh no. I was expecting it to be a lot thicker. No, it is really flimsy. I can barely grab one. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh no. So I was hoping that it could hold its shape so that we can put it on every end and just keep it in its place. That's not good. We're gonna have to be very crafty. Oh my gosh, okay. Because this, this could go wrong in many ways. Yep. Don't, oh no. Don't put it on your felt, it'll like take um, <gasps> that's true. just. Take just? Take just, shut up. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Take just? Take just. <laughs> I had too much saliva, so it came out as just, but I wanted to say dust. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look. look. At... I have a hat. Oh, that, that's cute. Oh, that is actually very you. It is very me. It is very you. I'll go get you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I have bones. Oh. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> 
right, so let's go ahead and look at these colors more closely with the light. So Sika, you're going to hold each color and we're going to see transparent versus non-transparent with the light. All right, so here is the paper. It still is pretty transparent, but let's see it really against the light. And here it is against the light. So it is pretty see-through, but I do see like specks, I guess. Yeah, I think, there you go. I think it makes sense. Because when we look at the CMY cube, we can see that it is transparent so that the other colors can go through it. Mm. Basically, we should be able to create most colors. I mean, these I are the so. primary colors, right? Yeah. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. Let's let's hope we can get to the point. Let's hope so. I don't okay. think we need to see all of them on the desk versus the light. Let's just go see all of them on the desk. On the light, I was going to okay. say. We're not simpatico here. No. We're supposed to be simpatico. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Get in there. This is today. <laughs> today. No. 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 Today does not stop today. This is how today's been. Okay. Oh, honey. No. We'll make it work. No. <laughs> this here is orange, and just to show a comparison, there's the yellow. Oh my god. <laughs> there. Oh my god. There we go. Nice. This is pink. Here's purple. And here's green. Blue. And last but not least, we have red, but we also have a transparent color. Well, see through. See, see, see through. <laughs> All right, so my theory is, let's again pull up the CMY cube on screen. My guess is that there are two ways this can go about. Either the colors are side by side or opposing each other. I'm curious to see both methods done with epoxy resin. So as you can see, this is my mold over Gee, here. It's very dirty. It is very dirty. It's not even dusty. Yeah, it is dusty. How did I manage this? I don't know. How do you manage a lot of things, Jackie? I'm a mystery to so I'm going to try putting colors opposing each other. So let's say yellow, yellow, blue, blue, and then magenta, magenta. And then in the other one, I'll put the colors touching each other. Except actually, yeah, I'll try them touching each other. We'll see where that goes. All right, so Sika, uh, let's try and see what the blue and the yellow look like and what type of green we're going to get. So that's the two together. Oh, that is a really pretty green. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just green. Is this one? <laughs> yeah, it's just green. Oh, you little schnitzel. That is one. <laughs> Okay, so no, this is the green that came in there. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Are you lying to me again? No, this is actually it. It's similar. It's the same. It's similar. Look at that. So it actually, I think, depends on which side you look Hang at. Hang on, it. I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. Look at that. So here's the blue, here's the yellow, and look at that. Very nice. I love this. Does it depend which one you put first? Sometimes it changes the color just a little bit. It could be. Usually if we put blue, it'll be darker. Yeah, exactly. So here's the blue on top, and here's the yellow on top. I don't see a difference. Yeah, it's not a huge difference. I no. thought it was a difference. Okay, right? let's try the blue, uh, sorry, the yellow with the red. Red or pink? Let's try both and see which one gives us the nicer. So this is red. Ooh. Oh, that's a little too much. That's very orange. Yeah, but it's a little too dark. Let's try with pink. This is nice, but it's a little dark. And with the pink, mm, it's it's like a very light orange. Yeah. There's like no in between. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel. Oh, Ooh, well, so on the pretty. light is prettier. Yeah. Let's try with the red again. Too red. Yeah, I think the other okay, one is better. Okay, so we're definitely going going to go with the pink. Which, going going to go with the pink, which is the closest to magenta because C M Y is cyan, magenta, and yellow. That's what it stands for. Did you know? No. Oh, I didn't. You didn't? <laughs> What did you know? It just blew my mind. Oh no. I was like, what? Your mind is blown. All right, and here's the blue alone, and we're gonna bring in the two magentas. That is a really pretty purple. We have to get them transferred. There you go. How pretty is that? You see that? That is pretty. So I think that's basically all the colors we need, right? I think so. And then if we put all of them together, we should be getting a brown color. Ta-da. Look at that, brown. And here are our three sheets, one on top of the other. So we have our yellow and blue. We have our all three colors, brown, purple, pink. Oh my God, this is so exciting. And orange. And orange. All right, so first things first, we gon' cut it. We gon' cut it. We gon' cut it. Go measure and cut it. We gon' cut it. No, not with that. It's gonna go crooked. We gon' cut it. That might be better. We gon' cut it. Which one's sharper? Don't drop anything. I saw you hesitate there. Do you have an actual exacto? That one We're gonna cut it. terrible. Yeah, that one's not very good. Okay. <laughs> Aw. So we're going to be using our trusty Jazza board from Jazz's craft kits. And we know that five centimeters, which is our cube, is exactly... Two inches. So let us... Two inches. Two inches. Ah, ah. <laughs> Why? Because. <laughs> okay. It's Count Dracula. Okay, so we have it here. Yeah. Okay. And then you can just cut this way and this way. That way you have two sides that are already cut. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not very good at cutting Neither straight. Neither am I. I can try, but uh. Okay, I'll try first. Okay. And then you. Okay. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Now, my question is the white part part of it or not? It's very nice and glasses, yes. Okay. I look very intelligent indeed. What is? What? I wasn't listening. I was admiring myself with my glasses on. 
<laughs> is the white part part of the calculation? I don't know. Okay, well, now it is. Okay, Please so... Please don't cut me. Hold on, make sure it's straight. Okay, I'll cut okay. from here first. Okay. Are you holding your breath? Yeah. Don't <laughs> let... <laughs> don't do it. I'm trying. trying! There. See? It's okay. <laughs> see? I got it. That's pretty good. Okay. Now let's see if it fits. It fits? Too big. No, what the hell? Oh no. Is it just Oh sticky? no, I scrunched it. Jackie? Mm-hmm. What? You watch your mouth. It's because it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna help you. You just told me off. Well, you know what? This is your square. Why don't you struggle then? Oh, look, give me. I'll struggle with my... Yeah, it's too big. It's slightly... It's like a so, few millimeters. So, no white. Let's do this again. Without the white. Without the white there. Oh, it's really, really in there. I know. Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you need help? Yeah, I can't get it. It's just crunchy. It's just crunchy. I got it. Oh, and it's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Look, you can see yellow now. Oh, oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Can they see yellow? Yeah. Ta da. Look at that filter. We didn't have to. Oh, oh. Oh, no, my it's so white. <laughs> the camera was like, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to okay. do that on the inside. You got it. I believe in you. <laughs> Why do you sound like you don't believe in me? Because I am stuck in a very weird position to help you. Okay. Oh my god, it's a little crooked. How does it look? Is it still too big? It No, it just keeps sticking everywhere. Because we still have to get it out. Oh, okay. So don't crunch it. I'm not crunching it. Who would have thought the most okay. challenging part of making a so, resin cube a would be cutting size. it? That's a perfect size. Is it? I don't know how to get it out though. Oh no, we have to get it out. Do you, oh, like a crochet thing to pull it out. Like a hook. Don't worry, I got it. Why do you have so you little faith? Yes, we're going to cut the rest of them now. Eventually. Here we are, many breaths held later. As we were cutting, we're like... <sighs> <laughs> Didn't want to move. Yeah, we were too worried. So now we have all of our cubes. Now it's time for the resin. And for this project specifically, I was advised by Sophie and Toffee to use the three in one, well, three to one ratio, specifically because there should be less bubbles, even though it takes longer to cure. So we're at least going to wait 12 to 18 hours. So time for mixy mixy. Mixy mixy. Mixy mixy. All right, so according to our calculations, this cube takes about 110 milliliters of resin. Yes. So for this three to one ratio, we're going to put 120 in total, mm -hmm. just to give us a little bit of extra. So it's gonna be 30 to 90. Yeah which gives us 120. Yeah, we wanted to go with round numbers because we kid you not, we've been sitting here for 10 minutes. Explaining it with fingers. Yeah, like 30, 30 one 30. to one is 30 to 30. One to two is 30 to 60. One to three is 30 to 90. Which in total is? 120. And my sister's like, 40? I was like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, so we're going with 30. So it's gonna be down the first line. Yes. There we Perfect. go, like this so. And you can see the difference between the two-part resin and one-to-one -one ratio is way more liquidy. So in theory, a lot less bubbles. So now we're going to go all the way to the 120 line. Wow, that one's so thick. It is quite thick. She thick. She thick, baby. That's 100, 110, 120. Very nice. It's basically the entire thing almost. Oh, so that means we won't have enough for both cubes. I have more resin. Okay. You see? Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie and Toffee. All right, so the trick with epoxy resin is you have to keep stirring until this fogginess that you see over here is completely gone and it's clear. So we're gonna be gentle, so we try not to provoke too many bubbles. Gentle. I am gentle. This is as gentle as I get. I'm going fast, okay? Like, relax, la. Ta gueule. Whoa. Wow! Alright, so as you can see, there's not that much bubbles. If there's too many, we're gonna try and remove it with a uh, vacuum chamber, I think it's called. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead, fill it up as much as possible. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous just because I know I have to put the cellophane in there. Yup. Oh, cellophane! Cello! You just got it? I just got- did you get it before me? No. Okay, so don't look at me surprised. Okay, so I think this is good enough, and then we'll add more as we, uh, after we put it on. You okay with that? Yeah. All right. Sika's going to pop the bubbles for the first time ever, That she, so she's never done this. So don't stay in the same place for long. Just go like that, okay? Okay. You got it. Just don't touch the resin either. Use both hands. No, I don't want to do this. You don't want to? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. No, no okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Okay, give me this. I don't we'll trust do myself with fire. I prefer the other one. Switcheroo. See? What? You touched it. No. See? Nothing. Magic. 
So for my first experiment, I'm going to put blue on either ends over here and then yellow on either ends over here and then the magenta on top and bottom. So I'm going to start with bottom. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I was like, I think you should start with the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm going to start with bottom first. Hopefully it's the right size and it's not too big. I feel like I would like to trim just a smidgen more. I can barely breathe. <laughs> oh no, 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 that's okay. Don't worry. I'm the one who's carrying this burden. There, just a little more. Sika did mention that the risk of having air bubbles is pretty big. So, oh my god, it's too flimsy. I, I know, oh I god, really oh wasn't hope. I, I was, was what? <laughs> We're so nervous right now. Okay, let's just push slowly, down. Slowly, Gentle. Slow. Oh my god. Gentle. There's so many bubbles. I, oh, oh, I think I need two. Popsicle sticks? Popsicle sticks, hang on. Okay, like this. Like so. Do you need help? <laughs> no, I got this. Just, okay, so the tactic is going corner to corner to corner like this. Oh my god, I'm so worried that it's gonna lift. And I'm gonna try and remove as many air bubbles by pushing it to the outside. I think it's good. Seems pretty settled. I hope it doesn't lift. I hope not. Okay, so let's wait and see what happens. All right, now time for the blue. Okay, this is really difficult, but at the same time, kind of relaxing. I don't know why. Kind of like putting stickers. Oh, is that working out better? Yeah, that one just slid right up the side. Look at that. I think the most difficult is the bottom, to be honest. Probably. I'm gonna just put a little bit more on the front here so that there's a bit of a suction like this and to remove the air bubbles. That was easy. All right, time for yellow and yellow. I think the two popsicle sticks really makes a huge difference yeah. okay oh oh no it's okay it's okay you're shimmy. making a mess mm, nope 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 shimmy your way down there you go look at that so i can see there's air pockets here just yeah. push them upwards and upwards so far so good so now i'm just gonna do the other edges and then we're gonna try the second method and then sika's method which is way more interesting and probably a lot more complicated i don't think it's too complicated we'll see <laughs> all right so here are all the sides done we're missing one more magenta on top but we gotta wait until it hardens a little bit before putting it on. Yeah, just bring it a little closer so they can see the top. So bring a top view. What? The color is changing a bit. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna wait for this to harden just a little bit, maybe in a couple of hours, and then put the magenta on top. And voila. That's so cool. All right, so while Sika is trying to measure the next batch of resin, what I noticed is that some of the cellophane is trying to bump a little bit, as you can see over here. So I'm just going to take my popsicle stick and tell it, get back in your place. Ma'am, get back in your lane. Ma'am, please. Get back in the back of the line. The line starts in the back, not in the middle. Don't cut people, okay? Can you tell I have pent up anger from people cutting the line? If that's you, shame on you. For shame. For shame. So my guess is I'm going to have to come back every half an hour until the resin is a little bit more solidified to make sure that none of these cellophane things are, you know, making a little bump. So far so good though. All right, so here I've poured my second batch of resin and all the colors are going to be touching each other. So I will have pink and pink, yellow at the side, yellow at the bottom, and then blue here and blue on top. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so here we have the yellow on yellow. I'm really worried about these air bubbles, but because it's a slow curing resin, most of it should be gone hopefully by the end. And time for pinks. Our two pinks are touching, so so far so good. I can't tell when something is a little bummed up and I need to push it or if it's just the illusion of the actual liquid so all right so then it's going to be blue time but I'm gonna have to wait for the top part until after same like the other one all right so here are my two experiments as you can see the one that's sitting a little longer has like practically no, no bubbles. bubbles it is so I was actually really surprised I saw the bubbles at first and I was like oh I don't know I don't feel comfortable about this and then like what maybe 10 minutes yeah and then they all rose up except for like one huge bubble that we got rid of and that's it yeah so I'm really happy that Sophie and Toffee really recommended the three to one ratio in terms of just eliminating the bubbles. It definitely will take longer than 12 hours to harden, but if, if we... there's no bubbles, I think it's worth it. I think so too. So we're going to set these aside and about maybe a couple of hours later, I'll start adding the other bits. I don't think it's necessary. Basically, I'm just going to put the other piece. Top. Yeah, and a little bit more resin. And that's it. You that's know, if, if I do do it on camera, you'll see it as basically as I'm talking right now, how I did it later on. You said doo-doo. Doo-doo. Mm. I do do it. If she do do it. If she do do it. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Fetch Rewards. For those of you who don't know Fetch Rewards, it is a super easy to use app where you can turn your purchases into points. 
and then you get rewards. You can literally scan any receipt or e-receipt from virtually anywhere. And rewards do include anything from Amazon gift cards to Visa gift cards. And yes, it is free to use. So as you can see here, we are scanning a receipt. It is turning these purchases into points. And then you can choose from a huge variety of rewards. Categories like magazines, art. Yes, we have art. And if you don't want to get anything for yourself specifically, you can also choose to turn your points into a charitable donation. And if you've been missing out on entertainment, yes, they have that too. So Fetch makes it really easy for you to choose them because the speed at which you can scan your receipts, how easy it is to use because it can go from any and all retail stores, all Amazon purchases, e-receipts, and even restaurants, basically everywhere. The options of rewards, as you can see again, there are numerous categories that you can browse through and get to know. So what are you waiting for? Now is the best time to check out Fetch Rewards because extending our dollar is very important. And hey, you were gonna do these purchases anyways, why not turn them into extra stuff? So check the link in description box below, use the code NERDYCRAFTER to get 3,000 points on your first receipt scan. Thank you Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. Now for the extra complex method, that Sika wants to do because I like to complicate my life. <laughs> Don't complicate the explanation, just tell them the gist of it. I'm gonna use the same mold as my sister, make a barrier like this into each other, obviously, to make four parts. And I'm gonna put the primary colors, which are three colors, and then one part of it is gonna be just clear. It's not gonna look the same. It might look interesting because it might look like there's an actual cut. Yeah, so it's not gonna look the same as having like one color and one color. It's gonna be divided, but I think right. it'll still be interesting to see. And the fun part is she's gonna try with UV red. Yep. So let's see how that goes. On to the next one. You ready? I'm ready! All right! <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Why is there salt? It's not salt. It's just too old so for salty. intensity. Why? Wrong show. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so this is the barrier that Sika's going to use. You see, not as easy as you thought, huh? Huh? It's still straighter than what you did. Nope. Yeah? Nope. No! What? Watch your fingers. Okay. All right, so here's the division that Sika made. So basically, she wants to add two cubes of different squared layers, right? No. In each one? No. No. <laughs> I'm trying to understand. Help I mean, me. I could, but no, I was going to do, like, rectangles. Oh. Of color. So, like, let's say blue, yellow, and magenta, let's say, and then clear. Or I could do half blue, well, half of everything, and then switch it around as well. I can do that too, okay, technically. So because that's... at first I was thinking maybe I could do uh, eight cubes, but I wasn't sure anymore. Okay, so how do you feel right now? I don't know, now you're confusing me. I'll have know, to think about that. it. <laughs> so now to seal the gap, Sika, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go dippity dippity and hope that it seals. Yeah, make some thick layers. Like, don't be cheap. I'm not gonna be cheap. All right, so just put one side at a time, and then we're gonna cure it. Yes. This is good. Yeah? Yeah, that's there you it? Go. Yeah, that's it. For how and long? Count for about 20 seconds. Hey, you're so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> a few moments later. All right, so Sika used the UV resin to seal the insides. You can tell it's Sika's work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a popsicle stick. How am I supposed to control I know, how I much mean, it's That's in all there. you need, really. No, like a syringe or something to be mm. more precise. I know you work like a sloppy piece of <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wow! I'm not sure I like crafting with two people. So as you can see, we have the uh, three colors and the clear one already, and as well as the center part. For me, it looks like potions. I don't like jello shots to me. You can see where our brains go. I'm thinking D and D, you know, kind of which which cup yeah, do you want to drink? Yeah, because I'm such a party person. Yeah, but you thought jello shots. Yeah, because when we have birthdays, we usually have jello shots. <laughs> yeah, but we D and D. Mm -hmm. I don't play D&D. <laughs> so my idea was to pour all four at once, but Sika doesn't feel comfortable. I don't think there's enough hand place for that. I think there is. I'm pretty sure we're gonna knock each other over, and then I'm gonna have like blue and yellow mixed into one area. Okay. No? I don't know. Okay. Okay. You ready? I guess. Okay, so all we'll right. do one- you wanna do one or all? Um, no, two at a time maybe. Two at a time? Yeah, to kind of help like balance each other out. Okay, so the ones next to each other, yes. kind of like this? Oh okay. my god, Hang my god, on. my god. <laughs> don't panic. All right, ready? Yeah. And go. Yes. Oh no, my yellow's leaking. Go, 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 put the clear, put the clear, quick, 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 quick. Okay. Whoa, 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 just go, go, go. As long as we have equal parts of no. everything. Where is it leaking? <laughs> oh, no, no, that's back. the yellow. It's going back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Pour your yellow now, pour your yellow. There you go. No, it's up. 
No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. It's not okay. It's okay. As long as we put the other color in the opposite direction, they should push each other back into their place. So that was my issue is one of them had no a spacing. Probably. And we're probably gonna have to sand it anyways because we have the plastic in the way. Yeah, we didn't even fill mine to the top. No, we'll, we'll scoop everything out. Mine's a failure. No, stop. It's, it's your fail. first time crafting. Uh, Calm down. I'm never doing this again. Oh my god. I quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Calm your Hakuna Matatas. I don't have any. Oh no. <laughs> so here are the three projects with three different ideas. Again, we're going to unbox the cube after we unmold ours. But for now, we have to let them sit for 12 to 18 hours. Yes. Hopefully not more. So uh, I guess I'll be seeing you in the morning to unbox these. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in the morning. We're gonna be like all disheveled, crusty eyes. No, maybe you. I get I get up early enough to get here. I'm not a morning person. Yeah, I'm a very huge morning person. I am a very little morning person. No, not me. So as we were looking, we just saw that there's some weird color leakage here. I don't know why. Not sure, because it didn't do that here either. So let's see what happens. Much, much, much later. So here we are two two days later. Two days later. Two days later. We wanted to make sure that everything had sufficient time to harden. And look. Nice and hot. I really love Sika's. It's so colorful. I, I don't like it. It looks weird. No. Yes. I mean, it's a theory, right? Yes. It's. A, I basically took the other two theories and went with it. And you were very unique. Yeah, I had to complicate my life. Mm, that's you, though. Yeah, it's me. It's very, you're it on always brand. Has to be hard. <laughs> it's always has to go harder than it has to be. Harder than it has to be. Yeah. That's what he said. Feeling you're gonna say, I'm like, oh no, she's going there, isn't I she? Went there. I went there and, and beyond. Went there. And beyond. You went beyond. And that way. <laughs> All right, so we're going to unmold them in the order that we made them. That we made them, and I'm trying to remember which one you made. I'm this trying one to. First. So these are the opposite color. No, this one because I have the colors facing each other. So I yes. see blue, blue. Yes, it's true. You're okay, right. so we're going to start with this one. I am so nervous and excited. Don't forget, we do have this one, which is the original one that I ordered for thirty dollars, and I want to see what it's going to look like, but only at the end. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, is it coming <gasps> off? Yeah. So it is what I thought it would do. Only that's. Oh oh. Don't stop touching it. Okay, so how do I unmold this? Oh boy, gentle? Gentle. I didn't think it would do that. Cause usually when you do epoxy resin and stickers, you have to push it all the way down. I didn't think that this would do that. Do you need help? No. Oh, what was that? <laughs> it's just a piece of extra resin. I got, oh my God, got this. So lesson learned, don't push as hard as I did, more or less. Oh my gosh, this is challenging. Oh, oh. D hang on, not too, not too, no, I'm nervous. Knowing it looks cool though. It does look cool. Do you need help? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to pull on the cube? Yeah. I thought you said you didn't need help. I don't need help. Wait, gentle, gentle, gentle. Cause we still have the one at the bottom. I got it. What? <gasps> wow. That looks so cool. That is really, oh. Okay, so this is yellow. There, there are some bubbles, but it's not bad. It's not too bad. Okay, so this oh. is the yellow facing yellow. Do you see that? See bulby. Yeah, so some of the, so that's why the bottom one didn't come out. It was a little bit more inside. So here's yellow with yellow, blue with blue, magenta with magenta. And if we move a little to, let's say this side. Oh, you see here, we have a little bit of green. Cyan. From where I'm seeing, I have, I see some yellow here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then let's turn it around. Oh, okay. Purple. I see purple here. Yeah, I see purple. I see the magenta. And here is brown. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Orangey, magenta, yellow, orange again, green. You see the angles? Look at that. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh my god. So we did obviously make a mistake. Well, in my case, I pushed it a little too much close to the edge. None of the resin held onto it. So as you can see, there's this bit coming out. Let me just bring you greens closer. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's nothing a little resin can't fix. Yeah, so you I could, kind of just put resin inside and then reflatten it. To or hold. I could just put it on top. So I could technically dome all the edges mm. here. But look at this beauty. How cool is that? That's so neat. From the angle you're holding it from where I'm looking, I see like pink, yeah. purple, I see yellow, green. Oh my God, I yeah. see purple. These are the exact blue. same colors I see, but I really don't like these air pockets here. Why? Well, that's the one that was peeling. No? Oh, I don't know. But I think how so. about here? Do we see it? Like here? I don't 
think so. But I think that's the one that's peeling. So I think you can fix it, no? I gon' fix it. You gon' fix it? I gon' fix it. All right. But so far, for a first attempt, how neat is that? It's really cool. It I does... was not expecting that. Yeah. No, I kind of expected it, but I wasn't sure. Now I'm really curious to see the one that you made with pure colors as opposed to the cellophane. Okay, hang on. We're gonna unmold this one. You ready? All right. Now for the second one that we made. So let's loosen the edges. Oh. No! Is that your cellophane? Oh, no. Yeah, that is the cellophane. Look oh. at that. It wants to peel. Gosh. Oh my god. What did you do? I didn't do nothing. Okay, let's just loosen it this way. Keep my finger on it. It's so weird. Each cube has like one side that doesn't want to stick. Is it the same color? Oh, I wonder. Is no, it... I think this oh, no, one was yellow. yellow. Okay. At least we're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep my finger here. And do you then... need help? Yeah, I need help. I'm no longer an independent grain. I need help. Hello. 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 Oh my gosh. You got it? Oh. No, I don't got it. Neither of us has thumb power. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, layer one down. <laughs> I'm trying to undress it. I know. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> interesting. Oh, whoa. That is interesting. The colors so, look different. This yeah. Is different colors. Oh, the bubble. Oh, wow. This one's really ruined. Yeah, like, that one's this one come. is abs. Where is it? Where is it peeling from? There. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, this is the one where the colors are touching each other. So, wait, I can't even tell anymore. It looks really trippy. This is really trippy. Yeah, 100%. I can't tell, right? I can't tell. No, I can't I tell. Can't. So, technically, this is. The colors are so different. Oh, my God. It looks so oh, cool. Oh, wow. Okay. I can't tell. I think that's yellow. This must be blue and yellow. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We're getting much more different and deeper colors by having them touch each other. Sika, let I me can't. show them. I can't see it. Yeah, the um, colors are so yeah. deep. So this is yellow for sure. Yeah. Which means one of these is, okay, oh. Okay. so this is magenta. So these are, these two, <laughs> I can't. No, this is magenta. This is magenta. Okay. This is yellow. No. Is it? No, it's blue. I don't know. I don't know. Because here, here's the exact same colors. Just placed differently. Placed differently. And we, we get deeper colors. A little bit more burnt, but I'm wondering if that's because of the placement. Okay, so here we clearly know this is magenta. Okay. This is magenta because that's the one that was peeling was magenta. Yeah, so that means there should be another magenta next to it touching it. But I can't tell anymore because it's changed to purple. I think this is magenta. Which has changed to purple because there's a different yeah. color on the other side. Look at that. I'm not sure which one I like more. They're both very different. This one's like more peppy colors and this one's more dark colors. Yeah, definitely much darker. You would think this would be like a dark fantasy creature and this would be like pastel ponies. Why Rain pastel ponies? It's not even pastel. It's just rainbows and unicorns. Pony. A uh, unicorn pony. But why pastel? It's not pastel. Oh, she didn't watch your mop. You watch your mop. You watch your <laughs> So that is, that is neat because I'm seeing more browns on this side. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's more burnt like you said. Yeah, so this is really pretty. So depending on the effect you want, you can do colors touching each other or colors opposing each other. We're gonna give you grains, obviously, you'll see them better than we are because I'm gonna put them somewhere where it's more lit and you can see the angles better than when I'm just holding them. This is so distracting. It's so cool. You keep like moving it and I'm just like... <laughs> oh, wait, let's get Sika. <laughs> All right, now we want to see what Sika's looks like. It's not gonna look as nice. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. I'm really excited to see yours because these are taking in consideration, let's say we can't find the cello paper, but we only have colored pigments for resin. This is what it would end up looking like. One of the resins that we did use though, the colored ones wasn't the right color, so yeah, it, it wasn't might ruin it. it. It wasn't as transparent. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna need more transparent pigment. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah, oh, it looks terrible. Oh, it's not as transparent. But no. Okay, so we do have a bit of a color change here. Yeah. Here as well. The yellow could have been darker, but look, we do see green. It's almost like the yellow is reflecting into the clear and going into the blue. No, that is the yellow. Wait, what? That's yellow. Oh, that's okay. That's clear. Yeah. Okay. The issue we had is the blue because that was not a clear color, so it kind of just ruined it. <laughs> you think so? I find. Because if we go on this angle, I see yellow, orange, and red, and a little green. Is that as pretty as the ones you huh. made? I feel like... There's so many bubbles in it too, oh my god. <laughs> that's the issue with resin and colorants, yeah. even though we did use the three to one ratio. But look, yeah, you could see purple. Yeah, the issue is really just like mostly the blue here. That's not, that looks pretty opaque compared to the rest. Yeah. And then apart from that, it's, um, I don't think I made the, the colors dark enough. But we need transparent colors. Yeah. Yeah, Sophie and Coffee, get to that, please. Yeah, these aren't all as see-through <laughs> as they should we be. Need, yeah, we need a new, a new set of transparent colors to see if we can make it work. Yeah. But I really like this idea because... I think it would have worked better if they were actually see-through colors. 
Yeah. Well, the yellow is, and the red is. The blue is not. No. You can see the difference here. Yeah. So you can't see the finger behind, but you can see here. Yeah. And you can see here. Yeah. But not there. Like, barely. I think next time I want to try and do it actually with eight. Yeah. Switch the colors around. Oh, that's going to be so trippy. Yeah. So if there's a smaller square that we can put within the square, we can make multiple tiny squares. That's what I wanted to do to begin with, and then we couldn't find a mold. Yeah, we don't have a tiny mold. I wanted to do, like, eight mini squares on top of each other. Are you ready for the real version now? Yes, but I actually really like yours. yours yeah, but this means... Now it has to... And now it has to catch up this to is, yours. No, because mine are peeling off. No, but I mean, that's just like a silly mistake. And by the way, they did send it to me with the tape somewhat peeling off. So let's just... I'm still obsessed with yours, though. I bet you this one's going to be even prettier. Watch you ready? Do the same thing. No, 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 no. It's probably better done because I still paid $30 for it. You ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so let's help me unbox. I am so nervous. Oh, it comes with a little pamphlet. Oh, it comes with a little baggie. No, it's like a... Oh, yeah, it is a baggie. I thought it was a phone. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I can see the pink through here. Oh, can you? Look, can you see the color? Yeah. Okay, let's let's open it. This is really exciting because we've been working two days on this and now we have the official. Look at that. It's also it's wrapped. wrapped. <laughs> this is such an experience. Oh, Oh wow. Go ahead. Un unwrap oh, there's it. Like a pla there's um, tape? tape on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The colors are so pretty. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, what? Did you find something? Oh no, okay, it's just a fingerprint. I thought it was peeling from one corner, but it's just the heat of our fingers that are making marks. I don't think it's resin. You think it's plastic? If Actually, it could. It's almost the same size, too. Is it glass? No, it's not glass. Okay, so let's see how they look. And this is the one that has like the most colors. Yeah, so this it. is mine, and this is the one that we bought, okay? Ah. So we have here, side by side, and then there. So let's go on to the side. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God! This is so pretty. Yours is almost the same thing. Very close. It's almost the same thing. The only difference is I think we would probably need a better quality cellophane. Yeah, or just more smartly done. Cause look, look at this. Oh my God! Do you see oh that? Oh my God! It looks so cool. Look how amazing this looks. Wow. By the way, not sponsored, not affiliated. I just saw this advertised everywhere, and I absolutely want it. Look at the amount of colors. It's almost the same thing, Jack. You almost I got don't it. I think so. Yeah. I think if we have better quality cellophane because the one we got kind of had like runny colors in it. Yeah. And it even like uh, tainted one of them actually. Yeah. So I think if we had better quality cellophane and we're, we're able to get m like more of the bubbles out, it would look exactly the same because yeah. it, the colors are pretty similar. Yeah. Maybe we should have waited longer to put the cellophane in so that it, but this one obviously does not have cellophane. I wonder what it is though. It, it has something because I do see corners. Do you? Yeah. I do see corners of like no color or you see the bottom. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. What if it's a sticker? Oh my top? God. That looks so Don't ruin it. <laughs> is it a sticker? I don't think so. It's peeling on the edge. I'm gonna be really sad if it's a sticker. Oh my god, Jackie, no. It is. Yeah. What? Check. Oh my god. All of this. You're right. So I know I'm ruining this, but here it is. These are transparent stickers put on a cube. I'm sad. <laughs> that is brilliant though, because you don't have to worry about bubbles. You don't have to worry about resin. You just make the cube and you stick it right on top. Brilliant. Yours is more durable if we get it well though the next time. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't take much to get this pretty color. No, exactly. Transparent stickers grains. That's what it is. I'm not afraid to break things. <laughs> Now you know. I'm so proud of us though. Like I am so I can't proud of us. Look. It. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Here they are side by side. That's amazing. That's the burnt colored looking. Yeah, that's the burnt color looking. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm in awe. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm them. pretty oh my god, I can't stop looking at them. It's so cool. I know, and when we first started this project, it's like, why would you do this project? I would get bored after two minutes. Well, yeah, now that I know it's a sticker, I'm not gonna really be like <laughs> excited about it anymore. Oh no, but I mean you can I'm get excited, excited that we got it to look the same. Like right? but yeah, I mean it's just colors. Eventually I will get bored of it. <laughs> but imagine putting that next to your window and having the colors reflect through it too. Yeah, I guess. So let us know how we did. I think we did pretty decently considering we didn't look at the original, so we had no idea what base they did. And it seems like we both complicated our lives. Yeah, because it's stickers. I never expected it to be stickers. I'm like, ah, oh, you sneaky. Mm, sneaky. You sneaky. You sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, you. <laughs> but if anyone would probably do it justice with resin, I feel like Evan and Caitlin could probably do this. Could probably do this. If you don't know them, I'll, I'll, I'll show you right here. The kind of stuff they do on their channel is very resin based and, and it's fun. So if they want to try it, we're go putting, on to their channel. We're putting you up for the challenge, guys. Yeah, tell them Nerdy Crafter is challenging you to do a proper C my cube. I wonder if they'll do it. I don't know. If you want to find Sika, don't forget you can find her at nerdy sister underscore Sika on Instagram. And you can find me also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. I hang out there more often than anywhere else. If you want to watch more experimental videos, make sure you check up here, like the resin egg video that I tried. I put resin inside an egg and, and the results were 
interested. And if you want to watch a review, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.